Hey guys, this is Ben Rob 329 I'm here with uh, with the Powder Toy, which is a really fun falling sand game that is free and open source, and it's really really fun. Yeah. So basically, you get to blow stuff up, build stuff, make cool electrical things. You can paint stuff and make things look way better than they would with the raw materials. Um, there's liquids and gases and electrics and stuff. I don't really know how it works. And people make logos. Like that. So people will build all kinds of stuff. Such as light bulbs Qu question mark um okay then I just had to oh I was supposed to hit that well that's not very intuitive I suppose the thing works though I mean, do I basically just spark it down here to turn it on and off? Doesn't really appear to turn back off. Interesting. Alright, here is a map by... BS TS JMA well one 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 I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm sure everyone's probably gonna say I don't know how to pronounce your name either. I mean come on. How do you pronounce B E N R O B? Like there's like you got two consonants there together. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Fair not. So basically, you spark the pin, and that does something, and then you spark the handle, and it goes down, and it makes an arc, and then it goes up, and then everything blows up. Which is basically what's cool in this game. So here is a another thing. Um, spark if bored. Ooh. Okay. Is that what it was supposed to do? I'm assuming probably not. Oh, I'm assuming I was supposed to spark that. No, maybe not. Wait patiently, please. Okay. Okay, I think this is all it does. It's kind of cool, but you don't really understand. Yeah, let's just spark it again. That looked cool. Alright, here is a realistic nuclear reactor. And this, I've actually seen this map before. Messing around in here. You 
can turn on the cooling. Um, I said turn on... Okay, maybe you have to turn that on first, and then turn on the cooling. Like, turn on the c cooling. Be because the, the temperature is rising quickly. There we go. Yeah, that's that's getting somewhat warm. Not quite warm enough to melt down yet, because that's at a thousand degrees. But let's just hope it doesn't quite get there. All right, we're seeing some steam down here. How do you make more water go through? Amp up the reactor a little bit. Mm. Can I, like, give it more water? No? Okay, that was probably a really bad... Yeah, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Reactor's gonna melt down. Actually, the reactor is melting down. You can see little uranium and plutonium, and yeah. Well, that ended badly. But hey, we did make plasma. That's, that's not steam, that's plasma. Or, no, that's water vapor. But still. Yeah, I don't think that was... I don't think I'm gonna get a job at a nuclear power plant. Ever. Just, just, it's probably just a bad idea. Okay, let's see if we can't make this thing work. Turn that, unpause, turn that on, turn the cooling on. Amp that up a bit. Cooling on. Cooling on. Does it have to be a cert certain temperature for the cooling to turn on? Like, like I, I'd like, I like some cooling, please, because that's quickly, quickly starting to. Cool down, 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 no, 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 ah, toast, we're toast. Can I, can I, like, keep this contained? No, I probably cannot. Not a chance. Can, can I keep the house intact? No, 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 no radiating the house. No, 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 no. Oh, whatever. Burn it. Just melt the whole thing. Melt all remnants of it. Who, who needs a control panel? It doesn't appear to really melt. Alright, now to mess around with just random stuff, like eating stuff up to the point where the entire city melts. Yeah. Great fun.
destroying stuff. Yeah. Just melt everything. This skyscraper seems to be awfully resilient. 6,000 degrees and it's not actually melting yet. It says it's molten stuff, but it's not actually, like, collapsing. Like, like, what is left? The building is seriously, like, still intact. How, how does, how, how does this even work? It's just fine. It's just like, 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 hey, whatever. That is one resilient building. I, I'm going to melt that thing. I'm going to melt this building. And then I'm going to drop some gravity bombs on it. That'll, that'll do it. And I'm getting like three frames a second. Okay, almost four frames per second, but still. This game likes to lag. It is almost up to the maximum temperature that the game allows, and it has not melted yet. I mean, like, the ground is melted all the way down to the point where there is a indestructible wall. An, in, an indestructible wall. And you have not melted yet, and you are cl closing to the maximum temp. You are, like, you are at the maximum temp. And I need to change the Fahrenheit. Okay, I have no idea how to change the temperature to Fahrenheit. Whatever, Celsius works. I just mean it's like a gazillion. And I just okay. Let's just say the buildings all were all were all melted. Entire city wiped out. Okay. Explosives. Gra Oops. Well, this is going to be interesting on my frames for a second. How does that not open up a black hole? I mean, when it's bending light that much, doesn't that kind of equate to, like, a lot? Like, I would think. May may maybe not. I just know that all these buildings right here would be collapsed on the ground. That would be, like, worse than the world's biggest earthquake. People would probably be splattered on the walls and be very gross, and, and I don't really want to talk about that. Let's just dump some gunpowder on it. Light on fire. Perfect. Perfect. We'll, we'll, we'll just blame it on some other country somewhere. You know, I should probably shut up. It's just to avoid people hating me for the rest of my YouTube career. I should probably shut up. But hey, I mean, we, we, we've got some kind of a burning flame here that is going away. We, we got more burning flames over here. They're probably burning water flammable material there. Okay, let's destroy something else. Ah, uh, the nuclear bunker. Probably my favorite map. Of course, it's not nearly as much fun with the decoration layer on. 
it, it looks much cooler when you can see the quartz and the insulation and the shielding and everything. Me. Alright, let's... I already know that the C4... Why is this so hot on the surface here? Like, it's cold there. But then it was like... But then it's like... Instantly... Oh, I have fire selected. Oh, and I... I messed up already. Alright. Let's try this again. C4. Just line the outside of the wall in case that guy in C4... Let's see if we can't blow this thing with about a million dollars worth of C4. Nope. Not gonna work. Alright, well let's see if we can do it with some gravity bombs. Let's put a whole bunch of gravity bombs. Right there. Just completely mess up everything. Let's see. And somehow that lit on fire and... Probably ruined the expensive article we're supposed to get. Needless to say, that was pretty cool, and it made a whole bunch of stuff light, light out of fire. Probably killed everybody. Anyway, hey, look, we got through a layer. Um, let's drop some ac acid on here. I would not have thought that there would have been that much pressure there, but okay. Uh, but acid doesn't burn through quartz. Okay, so... Uh, let's see here. Lava. Is, it, is that going to burn through? No, that's just going to create stone. Liquid oxygen. Pump all that in there and just, you know, heat everything up. Let's see if we can burn our way through. I don't think we're going to burn our way through. Not a chance. Um, liquid diesel. No. Really? That turned the lob into. CNC it's not concrete. I don't know what that is. Um, carbonated water, glow, liquid oxygen, liquid nitrogen. Let's cool some stuff down. And then let's dump some liquid oxygen in here. Okay, not quite what I wanted. Don't just eat. Explosives, light it all on fire. Light it all on fire. That's not working. We, we need something stronger. Dump some more liquid nitrogen on it to cool it all down. Because I have a plan. We are going to dump some fireworks in here and light them all off. And this is not working. Why is there stone on top? Um, that makes absolutely no sense. There should not be stone on top of the fireworks. So you know what? Put some C4. Put some C4 there. Blow it up. And see if we can't light up the fireworks. And there's just more stone. Alright, that's it. Dem okay. Nuclear explosion, and there's no 
nukes. I can't dump gunpowder here. Can't dump gunpowder because it just blows up. And I think everybody is dead. You know, since there's acid spewing around in there. Probably not really a place we want to get into. In that case, let's just dump some liquid lightning on there. Which practically melts stuff before it's even there. And just walks, watch the... And just watch the fireworks show as the fireworks slowly go off in the distance. This is really not a material that needs to be harvested in this way, ever. Just because I feel like it would do exactly this if we had liquefied lightning. Alright, thermite, go. Okay, but we, we, we need something to, um, C5, in case the... So you just react with anything, then. Anything that touches the explosive there just reacts. Okay. I might have a plan. Alright, there. Perfect. Nothing is going to penetrate that titanium wall, and don't call it cheating, because if you're trying to break into this bunker, you obviously already have unlimited funds. You know, since you can just dump tons of lava and acid on it. See, but now I can just do that. Okay, maybe I can't just do that, because that's going to still blow this. Why don't I just diffuse that? I mean, seriously, why don't I just diffuse that and so that there's not this shield in the middle? Although, why does it matter? You just use acid to get in there. For that matter, I could just use the virus to get in there. I could use the virus, burn it, and then use soap and turn everything back and get in there. Just fine. Don't have to set anything off, ever. Just infect everything and never touch it, ever. See, per perfect plan. See, and, and now all we have to do is take a little acid, which then turns into that. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So I think what I need is some kind of an explosive powder. So, let me see here. Let me get some titanium. Make a... F no. Not that. A... Funnel. Which I will then... Completely chop off the end. In order to reduce the risk of infecting my funnel. Okay. 
know what? I'm just gonna put a plug. Alright, we need some thermite. But we also need some soap. Because soap kills the virus. Alright, go. Soap and thermite. fire to light the thermite on fire and try to burn through that just see for the whole thing just see for it all of it burn through the whole thing melt it all yeah I don't think this would be a plan whatsoever that would work Okay, virus. Take over the whole thing. No, not like that. And then... Lava. To burn said virus. Without becoming said virus. You know, just melt the whole thing. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that we're liquefying entire structures and turning things into some unknown virus that could possibly kill all of humanity. You're just breaking into a bunker here, you know. And I think I'm just going to let that lava work its way down. There we go. Pour right into the bunker. Get rid of any traces of any life in there at all. You know. And then we'll just take some soap. And then just kind of unvirus this. And that, my friends, is how you break into the indestructible safe without setting off the alarm. At least until after it's disconnected. You just release a deadly virus that's going to eat through the entire planet. It's, you know, just going to turn the entire planet into itself and melt stuff and, and then cure it with soap. Soap cures viruses. Alright, here is an interesting um, save. It is a jet engine, which I need to turn that on. So, we can turn up to 10%. Pretty neat, 50%. Still pretty neat, 100%.
pretty cool. And then for for sage, I don't know how to pronounce that. Someone's probably gonna yell at me in the comments, but you know whatever. Essentially, heats it up a whole bunch more and does other stuff, liquid oxygen, oil stuff. Yeah, you can also control the thrust vector using gravitons. Or not gravitons. Um, forget what it's called. It's an ele it's basically a graviton controlled by electricity. So yeah, pretty cool. Control up. See, real planes need to use the power of gravity to adjust where they're flying, because that wouldn't be dangerous at all. But yeah, pretty neat. Okay, this has to be my favorite map. This brilliant idea is from Connor Red... Connor Red 1-6. Connor Red 16. And BSTS, I want to say. I, I'm I'm not sure. I can almost never pronounce any of these in the power toy. But needless to say, you give the guy a light. He doesn't thank you. He's a pretty fast smoker, you know. He, he got those express cigarette packs that burn through at the speed of light so you can get done with your smoking break and carry on with your day in under a minute. Unfortunately for him, he did not realize the fact that they were actually very, very bad for him. And you will see why. As, as it slowly burns through his jawbone and teeth, you'll see why it's so bad for him. You know, and a, as the smoke penetrates his lungs and goes down, yeah, just bad idea. He lost all his intelligence that day. I, I, I got handed to a guy. I don't understand how you, how you become a complete moron in one day, but he, he managed it. Actually, I, I, I think moron would be a compliment to him. No offense to, to, to an actual moron. To, I, I'm gonna shut up. Don't smoke. Or do drugs. Don't do drugs. This is totally an accurate representation of what drugs do. Or smoking. What are we talking about again? Well, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys want to see more of the powder toy or another series that I've done or if you want to see me do a different game uh, post a comment below if you like the video please hit that like button if you did not like the button please hit the dislike button and tell me why you did not like the video in the comments in a reasonable way please and if you want to see notifications for other videos that I will upload in the future please hit the subscribe button although I'm sure you already know all that Needless to say, thanks for watching.